Hello and welcome to part 8, uh, Group H of the Europa League Jersey Review. We're going to look today at jersey of a team that's hanging here. And that's one of the two reasons why I'm wearing my Argentina shirt. Uh, light blue is featuring a lot in this video. I wore the same shirt in the, for the Manchester City group in the Champions League. Didn't want to wear it again, but it just made too much sense, uh, especially with the white and the blue. And let's go right to the top city team, which is, of course, Lazio. Uh, and at home, they play in the away shirt, or maybe the third shirt from the league, which is the white one with the blue uh, chest band across, which again is, uh, they had this in the early 2000s. I think it was maybe the, even the championship shirt. Um, as an away shirt, I gave this nine stars. As a home shirt, I find it a little bit sad that it's white and light blue and not the other way around. And maybe I'm maybe they have a dedicated home shirt. I love the normal home shirt. I saw it yesterday in the Rome Derby again. It's absolutely glorious with the eagle on there. Um, but I'm from my sources. This is what they wear in the Europa League. As a home shirt, hmm. I still think it's a nine star jersey, but as a home home shirt, I would drop it probably down as an uh, eight star. It still has the Lazio features with the light blue, but there should be more light blue there. And for that reason, the slight drop, but only for the Europa League because it's as a home shirt. The wear shirt again, uh, it's the same template, maybe the weird golden here. Yeah, uh, but other than that, uh, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, black with the light blue, uh, really, really great looking shirt. Um, nine stars, I cannot really complain. As I said before, Macron uh, usually delivers great shirts uh, this, uh, this season. Um, the other light blue team, of course, is Olympique de Marseille, um, which we also saw in my La Liga review. Um, have now Puma, and the weird thing is that all three team, all four teams that we have in there have some connection to Puma. That's why I'm wearing Adidas shirt here. <laughs> uh, but only recently for Marseille, uh, Lazio had Puma shirts when they became champions, for instance. I love the white base with the light blue sleeves. The color looks a little bit odd. This orange sponsor hmm, does not quite tie in with the rest, but overall it's. Uh, Almost classic Marseille jersey, for that reason I stick with my 8 stars here. The away jersey is very similar to Arsenal, but it makes a lot more sense um, in the sense that it's black with the light blue. This really looks great. Uh, it makes sense as an away jersey, uh, has enough contrast, makes use of all the colors and then even the sponsor, although white is not on there, the sponsor just fits in a way. Uh, the wavy pattern is is cool. Also, I can make the sleeve straps. It again, I said it before, and we'll see it with the next jersey as well. It reminds me a little bit of the sea, and maybe this is kind of the waves uh, a, a, across the chest. So I can make a good connection with Marseille there. And I gave this nine stars. I'm gonna stick with it. I wish, of course, that this would go around around the collar. And then the third jersey. Again, a beauty. Uh, it has, maybe the black is a little bit disturbing me. Um, I'd rather would see this in white or, some, or maybe all golden uh, instead of the black accents. And that's maybe why I like it a little bit less than the away jersey, but I love this pattern on there. It really looks like the sea. This is a sea jersey. And with Marseille being a port city, I really, really like the idea. Like the idea. Of course, we saw the same one with Mönchengladbach in green and black, where it doesn't make any sense. But here, the way it is here, I really love it. Give this eight stars. Let's talk about Gladbach. Now we have Frankfurt Puma connection. Yes, they also wore Puma in the early 90s, I think. This Frankfurt jersey is horrible. I said it before. Uh, for me, Frankfurt is red and black, not just black and white. Uh, and then the pattern on there just doesn't look right. Um, I wish there was a better jersey out there for Frankfurt. If at least make these specs in red, it would not look better, but it would at least give some connection to what I at least perceive to be the club colors. Maybe Frankfurt a long time ago played not with that much red, but I don't think so. For me, Frankfurt is more red than black. 
honestly. And yeah, for that reason, only three stars on that shirt. Um, the away jersey is nothing crazy. I wish that there was a little bit more um, uh, red in there, but I think it looks all right. Again, it is the button from the France home jersey is here. If there was a little bit more red, I would give this higher points. This way it's a six stars. Speaking of red, aha, we can find a red for Frankfurt. This is basically a reimagined version of the 1617 uh, uh, template. Now the color is different than the sleeves, which has not been uh, before, which I actually think looks nice. Um, this is Frankfurt home jersey would be would make a lot more sense to me. Not the greatest jersey, but it would make a lot, a lot, a lot of sense more than the one that they're actually using. Um, I really like the updated Frankfurt crests. They went back to the old style, which is always good. I just wish the eagle was red or the, some surrounding. Again, the red is missing, but at least this jersey has a lot of red. Um, the black sleeves could be a little bit darker, I think. And this color looks weird. It's, again, nothing crazy. Uh, good looking, but also nothing too offensive. I'm gonna give this six stars um, and I'm happy that some red came back. And then the smallest team in this group is a, now another Puma jersey and Limassol. Honestly, Apollon Limassol. This is very much like the Marseille jerseys with all these, this pattern. It really looks to me like a still ocean. Uh, lying in front of you. I love this, uh, the blue, and then you have the dark sleeves with another uh, blue. Um, maybe lighter colors could have worked better, but overall I really like this shirt. I don't know about the sponsor. I'm assuming there will be a big sponsor on there. Uh, also, I think that the, when I look at the colors in the crest and the color on the shirt, there is a little bit of a disconnect. Um, but other than that, it's a really good looking shirt. So serene in a way. I'm gonna give this eight stars. The away jersey is in white, and I actually had to look twice. This is the away jersey, not the home jersey. I thought it was the home jersey. Uh, if I'm still wrong, write, write me, write me. Um, here it is, you know, uh, beige and white, and then the color is kind of weirdly broken. Uh, we have beige, and there's white, and there's beige, and there's white again uh, because the form stripe extends to the collar. So that's a little bit of a weird look. Um, we have the golden Puma logo, but overall it, this jersey looks a little bit boring, honestly. Um, it's the same template as the uh, home jersey, but it looks boring to me, except for only five stars. Well, let me know what, let me know what you thought about all these jerseys, uh, whether you agree with my rating or disagree. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. Tomorrow we're going to watch more Europa League jerseys. Until then, bye.